we had that triple wing, and now we got something with only two wings on. Yeah, this is our new 80% uh, scale Fokker D7. Uh, we've upped the size a little bit. There's a lot of bigger guys that need to fly, and uh, we've just increased our size up to 80% on this aircraft. It uh, does have a removable top wing, which is the feature a lot of, a lot of uh, customers have been asking for. So uh, we've made this airplane a lot easier to put together and take apart in the field, and uh, this is what we have. Now, what do you mean a removable top wing? What's the advantage of a removable top wing? Uh, for a guy who wants to go to an air show or something long ways away, uh, it takes about 10 minutes. He can simply remove a few wires and the wing comes right off. The center section stays on the airplane and it makes it a lot more user friendly. Now, this airplane here, uh, when did it first uh, concept uh, come in? Oh. Like, when did you first uh, get the idea to bring this out? Uh, this has been in the back of my mind for years. It's just been something we haven't had an opportunity to get to. Uh, We've, we've had some drawings laid out for several years, and here a few weeks ago, uh, we decided that we're going to actually start building this airplane. Well, I say a few weeks ago, it's actually about six months ago. Uh, we took this airplane, spent eight days framing the aircraft up, spent another two weeks covering it, and uh, now it's complete. We're ready to get it sunny fun. What type of construction are you using, say, first of all, in the fuselage? Uh, this airframe is built entirely of aluminum. It's 6061T6, and it is all riveted together, so uh, a builder doesn't have to have any welding skills. And the wings that would uh, construction in the wing? Uh, we're using tubular spars, a primary and secondary spar, and then we're using half-inch diameter uh, aluminum ribs, upper and lower surfaces, that are riveted together uh, to form the rib. Now, this looks like it's got a different engine as well. I, I don't remember, is this a hearth engine you're using on this? That's correct. This is the 110 horsepower hearth. The original airplanes had 180 horsepower Mercedes inline liquid cooled. So we've got the radiator uh, dummied up there and we've got the hearth that fits really well and it's a, it's a very powerful package for this airplane. Now, you're going to be offering this on to the market house. Uh, it will be offered as a quick build kit with all the welded parts pre-done. All the gussets to build the entire airplane will be cut on a CNC plasma cutting table. Uh, machine parts are done, welded parts are done, and it'll come as quick build. Now, how long would it take the average guy then to, to take from delivering at his door to actually have it up and fly? Uh, this will be about a 340 to 350 hour build project. So, you know, six months working evenings and weekends. Now, you mentioned it's got the Hertz 100 horse on it. Looking at them, what are you looking at for performance uh, specifications? Uh, based on our other aircraft, uh, we're expecting the stall to be around, around 34 miles an hour. Uh, cruise on this airplane will be about 78 to 80, and top speed will be about 105 projected. Now, when it comes to building this, what type of manuals or the videos available for it, that type of thing? We have a construction video that we make during the building of the prototype, and uh, we start with literally building the workbench that we're going to build the airplane on. And we go from start, this next process is the rudder. This is how we build the rudder, and I go through every step of it. And that video progresses all the way through the airplanes covered and painted, and we go through the final rigging on the video as well. How many have actually been out the door from your factory? Uh, we have about 250 builders now. Okay. And of that, how many of them are flying? Uh, I, I don't have an exact number, but I would say it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 65 airplanes, uh, being the earliest kits that were produced are now uh, coming online. And how many years have you been in business now? Uh, Twelve years. Now, you specialize in, in basically uh, this type of aircraft, or are, are there other uh, uh, makes and models that uh, you produce as well? We do primarily World War I. Uh, we do two ultralight. We do the little Dream Classic, which was modeled after a French Demoiselle, so it's it's the pre-World War One. And then we do a two-place called a Dream Fantasy, which uh, it's an enlarged version of our Dream Classic. Uh, which again looks old and antiquish, and then the rest of the airplanes, our other nine airplanes in our stable, are all World War One. Now, going to the Dream Classic and the, the uh, other, what type of construction do you use those? Uh, construction techniques and practices are the same in all of our airplanes. They're all aluminum too. If somebody wanted to get more information, you got name, address, website to get a hold of you. Yeah, it's www.airdrome. A I R D R O M E. Aeroplanes is A E R O. P L A N E S dot com. Our phone number is 816 230 8585. And where are you located? Holden, Missouri, 929 Northwest, row 1571. Holden, H O L D E N, Missouri, M O 64040. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.